Okay, let's get on with the setup guide then. So I'm going to show you how to run Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD through RetroArch. And I'm using Windows 11 64-bit for the setup guide. Let me just remind you to hit notifications if you like this video. I'm going to be uploading much more RetroArch content in the near future. So first things first, I've got RetroArch 64-bit and I'm using a portable version of this for this setup guide. And... What I'm going to do first is just show you how to run standard Neo Geo games. So let's just boot up RetroArch. So double left click on the RetroArch.exe and just make this into full screen. So first thing we're going to need to do is download a core for Neo Geo. So a core acts like an emulator as such. So what we're going to do is just head over to the online updater and we're going to be now going to core downloader and if i just scroll down just a touch we're going to come across arcade fb alpha that's final burn alpha 2012 neo geo so i'm going to just download this core and once it's downloaded you'll find a hashtag at the end so we know it's been installed into the system so next thing i'm going to do is actually import my neo geo game so if i just go down to the import content so what I'm going to do to this is just go down to manual scan and content directory and my C drive. I'm going to go to users and I'm now going to go to Jamie and desktop, which is where my Neo Geo game is located and Neo Geo, which is where my Neo Geo game is. And I'm going to scan the directory. Start scan and scan complete. Now, if we back right out and go back to the main menu, we can now see a new tab which has appeared, which is Neo Geo. Okay, let's just enter into this game. And the next thing I'm going to need to do is go to Set Core Association. And here's our core we just downloaded, which is Final Burn Alpha 2012. And that's now set. So if we just go to run this, it's going to boot us straight into that Neo Geo game. Very simple. And if we head back into RetroWatch, now on my PlayStation 3 controller, I'm just using the PS button to go into this menu. All your settings are going to be located here under your core options. So under core options, we got a range of different things we can set. Now, the one I want to show you really for this is the aspect ratio. If we go to core provided and change this one to par, come back out, back into the game. And let's try that again. So if we go back to down to core options and core provided aspect ratio and change it back to DAR, it's very slightly smaller. And let's back out and go back into the retro arch menu. So let's clean up the pixelation a little bit. Some people might not like the pixels much. So to do this, we're going to go to settings, video. And if I go to scaling, First of all, I'm going to change the aspect ratio. It's on core provided, which is going to be around about 4 by 3 ratio. I'm going to change this, first of all, to 16 by 9. And as we can see in the background, it's now gone into a 69 slightly stretched image. So let's just check this again. Quick menu, resume. We can enhance this further, so obviously we've now got slightly more pixelation going on because it's stretched. So let's go back into settings, video, scaling, and I'm going to turn on integer scale. Now we start the SWF official match. The Rookie Championship! And as we can see now, by me turning on that integer scale, it's cleaned it up a little bit and it's kind of compressed the image so it looks a little bit nicer. So let's go back into settings again and back into video. And if we want to add a little bit more blur to this, just to tidy up that pixelation, just a touch, just go down to bilinear filtering. And that's now turned on. 
go back into the game. And as you can see, it's now cleaned up that pixelation. It's gave it a slight blur. So that's Neo Geo pretty much good to go and set up for you. So let's now move on to Neo Geo CD. So I'm going to exit out of RetroArch. And before I do this, I'm going to just go to configuration file and I'm going to save new configuration so we don't have to go through all those settings again. So let's quit out of RetroArch. So the next system I'm going to be covering is Neo Geo CD. So for this, I've got a game and this is Breakers. Now, this is in bin and .q format. RetroArch is going to be reading the .q. So if you've got this in a zipped folder, zipped file, you need to extract this and get the .bins and .qs out of here. And you're also going to need BIOS files for this. So you'll find Neo CD and there's going to be a range of different files inside. So we need to add these BIOS files to RetroArch, which is really simple. If we go into the RetroArch directory, and like I said, I'm using a portable for this. I'm going to find in there system. And this is where the Neo CD folder goes into with those BIOS files inside. So with that done, what I'm going to do is open up RetroArch again. OK, so we're back in RetroArch and what I'm going to do is go to Online Updater and I'm going to download a different core for Neo Geo CD. So core downloader. And the core I'm going to download for this is SNK Neo Geo CD. So let's just download that core. And again, we've got the hashtag just to indicate that we've downloaded and installed that into RetroArch. So let's back out of here. And what I'm going to do is similar process. So I'm going to import my CD game to get that little tab come up, say Neo Geo CD. So import content. I'm going to go to manual scan, content directory, C drive. And if we navigate down to users, it's going to be under Jamie and desktop. And from here, I'm going to just go down to where my Neo Geo CD game is located, which is in my Neo Geo CD folder. And there's my game, but I'm going to scan this directory. And if I just go down to the bottom again and go to start scan. Now, if we back out of here, we're now going to find Neo Geo CD located right at the bottom there. So we've got that imported and we've also got the Neo Geo CD core. So to run this game, I'm going to just hit breakers at the top. And the ones which says track, you need to avoid. You need to go for the one which is the Q file, which has got no nothing after it, such as track. So go on that one. And I'm going to go to set core association, which is Neo Geo CD. And I'm going to go to run. And that'll boot us straight into Neo Geo CD. And here we go. So at the bottom, it says push start button, push start. So let's exit out of there. And again, for Neo Geo CD, if we just go down to core options, we can change bits and pieces from here. And if we back straight out of this and we go to main menu and we go to settings and we go to video, we got different settings for Neo Geo CD too. So for example, full screen mode, we can turn to on or off, scaling, uh, if you want to take away that blur which we added, then obviously just press on integer scale and that will come off. Aspect ratio, if you want that back to the standard 4x3, I suggest you go into core provided. So let's go back into the game. So that's it. That's your full setup guide for running Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD games through RetroArch. So... Follow me on different social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.